Okay, now what is looping? Looping is a concept of repeatedly executing the same thing until the condition is met in the programming. Let's take an example. If you want to print your name 10 times in the QBASIC, what you'll do, you will write print statement 10 times, print your name, print your name, print your name, up to 10 times. But if you want to print your name 100 times, what you'll do? You can't write it 100 times. No? If you want to print your name 1000 times, what you'll do? You don't you have to write thousand times, but using the loop, using the looping concept, you can write it down only once in the QBASIC, but it will be printed thousand times. It will be printed hundred times, depending upon your condition. So using looping, we have to repeatedly, we can repeatedly execute or print the same line of code repeatedly until the condition is met. So how to do that practically? Let's say in the computer screen. If you want to learn about all types of loop very easily, like this video, comment below, subscribe, and click on the bell icon so you'll get the notification for the new videos. And you can check out the playlist in my YouTube channel. There are many more things you can learn in very easiest way. Thank you for watching. We are here in the laptop screen now. As you can see here, the program name is program to print all natural numbers from 1 to 5. We have to print numbers from 1 to 5 using for loop. So first thing, CLS to clear the output screen, data of the output screen. Loop start from here for i equals to 1 to 5 and loop end here next i. Okay. When loop start, it written here for i equals to 1. So i value will be 1. When i value is 1, it will check the condition in the for loop. Is i value is in the range of 1 to 5? Yes, it is in the range because from 1 to 5 means it is 1. Condition true. When condition true, it will print i. i means 1. It is printed in the output screen. Let's say this is output screen for now. Next i means increment the value of i by 1. We already have 1. So i plus 1. Next i means i plus 1. 2. Okay. When it incremented it will go to the for loop and check the condition i value is 2 is 2 is in the range of 1 to 5 condition true condition true then it will print this value of i so we'll print here 2 i have kept here semicolon so it will be printed in the same line by giving some space next time i value is already 2 next time means i equals to i plus 1 i means 2 plus 1 means i value will be 3 okay when 3 it will go to the for loop again and check 3 in the range yes true print i i value is now 3 3 is also printed next i next i means i plus 1 3 plus 1 means 4 and when it will be it will go to here and check the range 4 is in the range of 1 to 5 yes true print i i means 4 again Next i, i equals to i plus 1. 4 plus 1 is 5. It will go to the for loop again. Check the range. 5 is in the range of 1 to 5. Condition true. Print i. i means 5. 5 is printed. Next i, value of i will be 6. It will go to the loop and check the range 1 to 5. But it is 6. This means condition false. When condition is false, it will go to the end. Just after this next i. And end of the program. We printed value from 1 to 5 using the for loop but if you want to print 1 to 10 what you will do you will do here 10 if you want to print 1 to 15 you will write here 15 if you want to print 1 to 100 you can write 1000 you can write it here so in the same way it works for now we are printing 5 okay next you can see rem to clear a uh, comment you used to write the comment in the program like program name or any message you can write cls is to clear the out data of the output screen for i equals to 1 to 10 this is starting of loop and it will check the condition here only and after that print i this is the body of for loop inside for and between this for and next i whatever we return here is body of the loop it will be printed next time means end of the for loop next time means i equals to i plus 1 and means end of the program so let's write the program in qbasic and let's see how it work or whether it's working or not I have written here and it is printing value from 1 to 5 okay now if you want to print 1 to 
20 then I will write here 20 and run the program again and in the same way it works okay you can see here 1 to 20 we have kept here semicolon that's why it is printing in the same line by giving some space now using the for loop if you want to print all the even numbers from 1 to 20 so what we'll do we're not going to start with 1 we'll start with 2 and up to which 20 and then after that we need to write here step 2 in this way let's run the program step 2 means changing the value of this next i next i means default i plus 1 if we write here step 2 then i equals to i plus 2 i value will be 2 first time and then it will print 2 next i means i equals to i plus 2 because we have written here step 2 so this is how it works so we have printed all the values from 1 to 20 all even values if you want to print odd we'll do only one thing we'll change this one because odd number is 1 and 1 plus 2 will be 3 5 so in this way we can print odd numbers if you want to print table of 3 you can keep here 3 and as step 3 and then you can print first time 3 second time 3 plus 3 is 6 and then 9 18 in this way you can print that if you understand the concept if you have a confusion you can comment below if you understand click on the like button click on the subscribe button and share with your friends have a good day and see you in the next video